All right, everybody, it is Monday, October 3rd, 7.09. I just finished up my walk, Bryce finished up work, and Tori finished up class. Who's Tori? She is our Athlete of the Week for Monday, October 3rd. She is a junior forward from Haymark, Virginia. Shout out to Battlefield High School. She scored the game-winning goal against the third-ranked Carolina Tar Heels in the first win over North Carolina since 2011. It marks the first top-five win for Virginia Tech women's soccer since 2013, and it is her one, two, three, four, five, fifth game-winning goal of her Virginia Tech career, Tori Powell. Welcome to the Sons of Saturday, and congratulations on being named this week's Player of the Week. Thank you, and thank you for having me. I'm honored. We're excited about it. Bryce, why don't you go ahead and get us, uh, get us started off here? Billy, that was, that was an awesome introduction. That got, that got me fired up. Uh, Tori, welcome uh, to the Sons of Saturday. Congratulations on being this week's Athlete of the Week. Pretty exciting stuff. Uh, the first question we kind of like everybody, we like to ask everybody when we're getting started is wh why did you choose Virginia Tech and what other schools did you consider and, and what other things you consider throughout the process? Um, so I committed earlier. They've changed the rules now. So now you can't commit until you're a junior. Um, but I committed my freshman year of high school. So honestly, like I didn't really know what I wanted. I'm very grateful. I think I made the right choice. Um, but I was debating between here, uh, University of Georgia and UVA. Everyone always reacts to that one. Um, but you I just think it offers was schools as a freshman in high school. Yeah. I mean, we were getting recruited by like eighth grade and going on, like I went on my first visit in eighth grade. Cause I remember it was crazy. It was crazy idea to my mom. Cause like she didn't get to play sports. So I mean, you're not even thinking about college until your senior year of high school. And I'm not even in high school. And I was already thinking about where I was going to be going, um, which I'm I'm kind of glad they changed that rule just because the more you get older, the closer you get, you know, more of like what you want. Um, but it worked out in my case and I'm so happy to be here. Um, but yeah, it was just the perfect fit. Um, perfect distance. I loved the campus when I first came. I mean, it is beautiful um loved the coaches the staff the team the energy was awesome just everything just fit into place and I was like I think I think this is it <laughs> so speaking of making early decisions uh you decided to early enroll at Virginia Tech in January you were one of three freshmen in that class that did it and speaking from my class I remember that Marshawn Williams did that Vinny Mahota did that uh, and it just really helps you get ahead of the eight ball not just from a athletic standpoint but getting used to getting to class, getting used to the academics, getting used to camp and everything else. So uh, what led to that decision and how did it help you grow and how did it impact you? Um, it definitely made the transition much easier. Um, it was funny that it ended up coming the year that it was of COVID. So I kind of came, I was here for like a month, went home. Mm -hmm. So that part was a little bit funky. Um, but I think, so Chugger suggested the idea around May of my senior year and I made the decision prior to getting hurt. I actually came and injured. Um, I had like a year and a lot, half long injury because it was diagnosed incorrectly. So it was prolonged. Um, so I didn't know that I was going to come in hurt, but it still like was an extreme benefit. Um, and also like, I didn't really realize at the time. Um, but if you do have like the aspirations to play professionally, the draft slash going overseas, whichever route you want to go is in January. Oh my gosh. Sorry. No. <laughs> um, so instead of having to like, um, do all your classes at much a faster pace, you're already set up to have the four years done at that time. So quick, uh, I know Bryce has an add on here, but let's address it now. Who is the cat? What's the story with the cat? Um, <laughs> give, us, give us the background. <laughs> So her name is Nala, um, named from The Lion King, my favorite childhood movie. Always knew I was going to name something Nala. Um, I also always told my parents that once I lived alone, I was going to have a cat. And that happened, like, immediately. Uh, adopted <laughs> here in Blacksburg, Blacksburg native. Um, I believe she's a cow I don't know if that's right or not, but she's all white, which is, like, she's, I think she's beautiful. Um, and, yeah, that's Nala. Bryce, you have an 
Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I, I, I love that you, you, you kind of told the story of being committed really early and being excited and knowing you're going to go to Virginia Tech and then you get here and then there's COVID going on and, and you're, you're hurt and you probably can't do as much as you like. I think a lot of the times people who aren't involved in, in athletic programs don't really understand that there's more going on at, for, for these kids that are playing and how tough it is. You know, how do you think that shaped you a, a little bit throughout your college experience? And, and, you know, you want to kind of walk us through that? Yeah, so definitely. I remember um, when it had happened, I, it wasn't supposed to be like a serious, um, I was told it wasn't a serious injury. I ended up tearing two ligaments in my foot and then it ended up causing like damage to my bones. But at the time they had just thought it was a midfoot sprain. So like the injury itself was already kind of difficult for me because like I went in the first time to the doctor's office and they were like, oh, it'll probably be like four to six weeks. Um and then I came back and they were like, okay, it's not better. Like a couple, four to six more weeks and it'll be fine. And then they did an MRI and then they were like, oh, okay. Like we have a serious problem here. Um, so that part mentally was a little difficult just cause I always thought like the next time I went in, I was going to have progression and it was kind of the opposite. Um, but the other kind of thing I was struggling with, um, originally was that like, I was kind of like, why right now? Like I'm about to go into college. Like I'm going to the next step. Um, so that's kind of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I had never really had a serious injury. I had like muscle stuff, but it, I've never been out for that long either. But like, I'm grateful that that happened because like, I have so much more appreciation for the sport and like the opportunities I've like been given because of it. Because like, when you're watching, like, you're excited for others and like having that with you while you're playing, like, just brings a whole different like level to like loving the sport. Yeah, so, it makes you win every day because you know it could be, you know, taken away. So, so um, simply, what well, great answer, right? Um, it seemed that everything has healed okay. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about uh, about the moment uh, that we're here talking about. About five minutes left in the second period. Uh, our athlete of the week from last week, Taylor Price, sets you up with a beautiful. I I don't know soccer lingo, but it looked like a loft pass, a little like. Little bloop, little bloop pass. Uh, dropped it right in. What is it called? That's pretty accurate. Okay, a little bloop pass. Um, and uh, you were able to cash in, which ended up being the clincher. Can you just walk me through that sequence from uh, from getting the pass to celebrating your teammates? Just walk me through that moment. Yeah. So even before that, um, and I didn't really realize this because you're so focused into the game, um, but we won the ball like way back with Gogol with a header, header to header to Natalie, who headed it over to Taylor, who turned and flicked it over. So it was just like of such a beautiful sequence. Um, and like, like I've kind of said before to um, a lot of people is me and Taylor just have this like connection that we don't really have to like, we know what the other one's doing without really having to say it. So she already knew where I was without having to like look again which is good because that's what made me be able to be in front of the defender when I got like in behind too. So with the, with the game winning goal against Carolina, that brought your total to six goals for the season, which we know Taylor has six goals as well. Is there a friendly rivalry kind of developing there in the locker room? And, and how quick were you to remind her that you're now tied again? <laughs> um, I honestly, I'm not one to really keep up with stats that much. Um, you obviously hear it when you watch the games back, but that's like not like my goal when I'm playing, I guess. Um, but it's com competition is always good. I mean, our team has like had so much success this year because we came into the season, like all competing for the roles that like we wanted to make. And like, that just brings up the level for like everyone. Um, and like, I just love her too much to like, look at her like that because like just the way we play together, the way like she is as a person, like, I just like, I love that girl to death already. And it's been like not even a year. Um, so again, obviously Taylor was on last week. She really encouraged fans to, to come support y'all and check out Thompson field for those who haven't been. What's a, what's the home field advance like at Thompson field and what's the atmosphere like? Um, the energy is crazy. Um, not even just from the fans, but also like our bench, um, like them hyping us up makes us like, even more hype to like keep going um 
But I mean, like we have like the fans going crazy. We have the lights going off when you score, which adds like a whole other level. Now this year they added um, your like goal scoring song. You can choose a song to have like play. Um, they've got fun little like bloopers during like halftime. I mean, it's like a show. I was impressed like the first time I had a game and I was like, oh, this is like a whole like thing going on. Um, so but, Tori like, Powell listens to ASAP Ferg, if that means. I, I'm I do. on a new level of your goal song. Okay. okay. I do. I do. But um, I do stand by my favorite like artist of all time is T-Pain. And okay. I stand by that. Throwback. Throwback. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That whole era is just like elite. That's true. Timeless bops. I don't know if they'll be playing at weddings in 30 years, but definitely – Definitely some, uh, definitely some replay value there. Yeah. Um, last one before we get into rapid fire. So Virginia Tech is currently nine and two. They're three and one in the ACC. You're on a three game winning streak. As an upperclassman on this team, how do you plan to keep your squad focused on the next game and keep things rolling? I think definitely just like having those celebrations, enjoying the moments, but also knowing that like we've got the next step. Like there's other things to be done and like, we've done great things and that's awesome. And like, hold that to your heart, but also like go out and get the next one. Cause then it'll be even more like savory. Do you have any individual or team goals you're, you're trying to accomplish as but before a year end or anything like that? Well, you guys mentioned earlier that we haven't had a power five win since 2013 and that's the farthest we've made it in the NCAA tournament to the College Cup. So I think our goal should be to make it to the College Cup this year. That was our roundabout like way of asking you. That was our roundabout oh, way of asking you. that was one step ahead. There we go. There we go. Um, okay, so this is the fun part. This is fun. We're done talking about the season. We're just going to have some fun, and this is rapid fire. It doesn't have to be okay. rapid. We can call it rapid fire, but it never ends up being. We got a workshop rapid fire. We got a workshop. Yeah, we'll come up with a new word. We'll come up with a new word. Um, so rumor has it that you swam across the Potomac River on a dare. Um, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about that, please? <laughs> what, so what, it's kind of happened? it's kind of a frightening story, and I don't know why that was like. like no, no, that, I don't know why that was like the first thing that popped into my head. But basically, me and my friends went to visit. Said, I bet you can't swim across. I said, I bet I can. So he started counting down and I couldn't help it. So I literally just dove in. Keep in mind, like, you're not even supposed to be like swimming at this place. Like, this is purely like for like scenic value. Um, so I swam mm -hmm. across. There's like a Virginia and a Maryland side. And on the Maryland side, like these guys were on the other side, like and saw that I was swimming across. So they started like cheering. And then I thought that I'd made it all the way because they were cheering. So I stopped. And then the current like took me in. So now I realized I had to go back across, but I like was trying to get there, but I obviously got really tired. So <laughs> then I grabbed onto like a rock, got like pushed down with the current and my like stomach was in between two rocks. And then I like pulled myself up, sat there for a second, like realized I was like sitting in the middle, like everybody that was there to like see like the beautiful views were now seeing me like sitting on a rock. <laughs> like so this was in the middle of the day. This is middle oh, yeah. of the day. Oh, probably like 1 30, like 1 30 PM. Yeah. And it's Wait, like what? family. It's like, this is like, just like a, a pure, like tourist attraction. Um, and luckily, so my friend, my friend's mom who took us, like, didn't, she was like, she didn't see it somehow or else she would have been like freaking out and I would have felt terrible. Um, but yeah, and then I just figured out the best way to get back. I got back, um, walked out, saw all the signs about how you should never like die, like even swim regardless of like trying to go across. Like I definitely learned my lesson to like, not just like do what someone dares you to do because that was very scary. Valuable lesson. That is a valuable lesson. Um, yeah. We spoke to Taylor Price last week about her favorite Blacksburg activities. And that was, that was, that was me. That's my fault. She's a freshman. She hasn't been <laughs> getting out a lot and doing a lot of Blacksburg activities. So um, you're a veteran of Blacksburg. What are some of your favorite Blacksburg activities? Uh, if Taylor says, Hey, you know, it's during the off season. What should, what, what are some fun things to do about Blacksburg? What might you tell Taylor or freshman, uh, at Virginia tech? Yeah. So, um, we always find ourselves when we're like, Oh, like, what should we do? We always go somewhere pretty. So, um, there's this one spot. I don't know how to describe it. It's like, Going, when you're leaving Blacksburg, the couple of two like roundabouts, in between the two roundabouts, there's like a side, um, 
little like off-road thing and if you just go up there and like sit there it's a really pretty view and like me and my roommates or like our class will like go and like watch the sunset that's always fun um or there's the quarry which it has to be warm for um mm. but that's a really fun spot um where else Kids don't do the tubing. You guys gotta go to this side. I actually, it I know. Write it down. I know. Write it down. Summer, Write it down. New River tubing. You go down. It's on McCoy. You pack. Uh, uh, are you twenty one? Not yet. In November, okay. I will be. When you're twenty one, <laughs> pack some adult uh, adult beverages and float yourself down. Uh, float yourself down. For now, <laughs> it's the high sea or you know something something like that. But it is elite fun. You have to do no, that. No, that's actually an amazing reminder because I've been wanting to do that and I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay. Just, yeah, just put don't that go in November. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just don't, don't go in November. You can do bonfire. I need to it off for, for the next warm season, but yeah, definitely right. want to do that. Right. Um, I love this one. You can have dinner with four people. These four oh, people geez. can be dead. These four people can be alive. They can be friends. They can be celebrities. Who are the four people and where are you going to dinner? Oh wow! Loaded mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. um, Blake Besides Lively. TV. Okay. Um, who else? I need like variety. Um, oh my goodness. Um. All right, Dead or alive. You can say George Washington. You can say you can say God. Taiwan Garbutt said God. He said he would go Buddha. To I guess Buddha. Buddha. Okay. I'll throw Buddha in there. Okay. Um <laughs> uh, who else? We'll get a soccer player. Um we'll, we'll get me a ham in there. Me a ham. Okay. And finally. Ugh. Um. Uh. I don't know why this is so hard. I'm totally overthinking it. I think you are too. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely am. We'll get George Washington. I'd love to hear if everyone's so, true. So George Washington, Buddha, Mia Ham. And uh, Blake Lively. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to know what Blake Lively and George Washington would talk about. Um, I have no idea. Yeah. And where are you going? Where are we going? Um, Don't overthink it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, we're going to Italy. That's where we're going. Okay. Well, you got to pick a specific restaurant. It's the whole country. Gotta, you know, you got to pick a restaurant. So uh, Taylor picked Chili's, which I thought was a a pretty poor choice. Um, <laughs> what about a specific restaurant? Okay, specific. Um, <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, bonefish. Bonefish. Okay, good pick. Got one in Paramus, New Jersey. Go ahead, Bryce. Oh, that I think that answer beat Taiwan Garbutts, and his was pretty <laughs> eclectic. Um, <laughs> that was great. So besides scoring game-winning goals, I, I know we have five of them, um, and getting – Pumped up with your hype squad of uh, the girls' soccer team. What's your favorite non-soccer related memory at Virginia Tech? Hmm. Now I really got to shift through things. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, probably the first time me and my friends went to the sunset spot. Because um, mm -hmm. we were kind of just getting to know each other. Um, started to like learn more deeper things about each other um, and just really started like forming like relationships with each other. I love that. I love who is your, who is your crew? Is your crew compromised? I'm a big proprietor of always making sure that you make friends outside of your little athletic sphere bubble. But I'm curious mm -hmm. who are the folks that you typically hang out with outside of, uh, outside of athletics? Um, outside of athletics, my friend, Emily Schmall, she's from high school um okay. she's in a sorority i could not tell you which one um hang out with her 
Um, it's mostly people from high school, which is cool because you've kind of kept those. Um, what's the word? Connections throughout too. Um, so yeah. Um, what about a pregame superstition or routine? Lay your socks out weird. Um, certain type of music. Um, what what is your superstition or routine? So this is hard because I am very superstitious, but I'm also like open to change with it. So like, I'll always have the same routine, but then if I have a bad game, then I have to change something. So like, it's like open to like, it's open to change. So I can't give like a specific routine, but we definitely have to be listening to music, jamming out and dancing before. Like that is so, no question. So what was the pregame routine for UNC? Because I'm assuming we're not going to make any changes here. Right. <laughs> Fair. Um, Pre-game routine. So I actually thought about the way I put on my socks. I put on my whole right leg first, not my, minus the cleat. So I put on the right sock, right shin guard, left sock, left shin guard, then right cleat, left cleat. Which sometimes I do it like just like sock, sock, shin guard, shin guard, cleat, cleat. But... It was, it was the one foot at a time minus the cleats this right. time. Okay. So not superstitious, just a little stitious. Okay. Yeah. I got it. Uh, go ahead, Bryce. I didn't know there was a science behind it all. <laughs> so you mentioned Mia Hamm as someone you'd want to have dinner with. Um, so she could be on this list. But uh, are there any athletes that you model, model, your game, model your game after or look up to? It doesn't have to be soccer either. I just I figured you might start there. Um. I think I take from a lot of different people. I don't have like one specific person. Um, but I will say like, whenever I watch a game, I'm always focused on like the hardest worker or like the kind of like grittiest person. I think I like to take, I take that with integrity of like how I play my game of being like athletic, gritty, aggressive. <laughs> um, so Nobody in specific, but in each like game that I watch, I find that person and I focus on them. Uh, you know, Bryce, I saw that smile. I, I, I got to tell you, every athlete, I'm looking for grit, looking for grit. Um, <laughs> he, he doesn't have to pay for the grit swear jar. That's just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we won't make you pay for the she grit swear play, jar. She can describe her game any way she wants. So, so yes, you, you did mention that you are uh, under the age of 21. When you do turn 21 at Tots, there is karaoke night. Um, okay. And karaoke night, you get up and, and you pick a song, you sing it, um, karaoke. So life or death, if for some reason um, Buddha or whatever was like, hey, at Tots tonight, it is life or death karaoke night and everybody has to sing and you have to get every word right, no misses, none. Okay. What song are you singing at Tots karaoke night? Super bass. Super bass. Not By even Nikki not Minaj. Like the ABCs? Wow. And you're confident every word. Yeah, I am. I think I learned it when I was probably like 14 and it's just like never left my brain. It's like one of those songs that just like comes on, even though there's like a ton of words, like you just like you know it. Wow. Okay. Um, what about your favorite movie and television show? <clears throat> Okay, favorite TV show is New Girl by far. I literally watch that to go to sleep every night. Hilarious, awesome, all around good show. Movie. Um, I'd say like when I was younger, I'd always see The Lion King, like I mentioned before. Um, but to give like a good suggestion for someone, also going along with Blake Lively. Um, no, I can't think of the name. Oh, A Simple Favor. A simple so good. Favor. I will raise you a Blake Lively movie, uh, the, the Town. It is a Boston-based movie, fantastic movie. Um, she plays. Uh, she does play. She does play not a very lovable character, but it is a good movie. <laughs> and worth checking it out. Um, Halloween it's is upon not. us, October third. I think we're twenty-three days away from Halloween. Um, so a couple Halloween, uh, <laughs> Halloween-inspired questions. Give us your top three favorite candies. Okay. Um, Reese's peanut butter cups, Swedish fish, and Twizzlers lately, which I don't oh, think. Twizzlers? Oh my I know. God. I used to I not like them, them, but there's just something about them now that I really enjoy. Oh, man. 
Um, I used okay, to love to go to the Math and Poe and get a stack of Twizzlers and go in there. It's just, it was the best. I don't know. I'm into that too. That's I smart. I, I have, I have zero uh, net positive memories from, uh, from the Math Emporium. Not one. <laughs> you know where the Math Emporium is, really? I, I, I knew where it was for my first, my first semester, and then I dropped that class, and I took no more classes that needed to be taken in the uh, math <laughs> That so, checks out. Yeah, it, it does check out. Um, what about, uh, what is a horrible candy, your least favorite candy? Adam of the Barrel. Almond Joy. Oh, see, if you throw Almond Joy in the freezer, that was a thing for me that I hated when I was young, and then I, my taste buds did the, did the flip. Oh. Um, we'll see. Uh, any oh, Halloween, man. any Halloween costume plans, or do you have a favorite Halloween costume from the past? Um, from the past, I did wear like leggings one year, and I glued a bunch of like um, Smarties on it, and it was like Smarty pants. Ah, uh, Smarty pants. Okay, that's creative. That's yeah. creative. That does it for. And it's easy. It was pretty easy and cheap. I, you're, you're not trying to sell me on, on, are you trying to sell me on get buying leggings and I mean, it was, it was a great conversation starter. Okay. Okay. I, I, I don't know if we'd be having that. Uh, I don't know if I'd be getting the same conversation started if I were to uh, throw on some <laughs> pants from, from Marty's on. Okay. That's, uh, that's fair. <laughs> go ahead, Bryce. Oh, I, I was just going to embarrass myself for a little bit. I actually wore <laughs> leggings one time for Halloween. Uh, oh. I dressed up as Peter Pan, and yeah, that things you do for. I feel like you'd make you know, a great Peter Pan. You care about, I guess. It was, um, yeah, I, I did. I, I, I'm man enough to admit it. They were brown. Why, they were why, brown. why would Bryce make a great Peter Pan? Like he's like he. I don't like that. Just makes sense. Once you said it, it just it made sense. There you go, yeah. Bryce Peter Pan in 2020, 2020. Uh, what year is it? 2022. Run it back. No, we're not going to run back. <laughs> Might do something like, uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what the wife wants to do. Um, I, I do love when I can tell when you're excited about an answer. You go like, you're like pumped for it. Like the candy thing. You were ready to go. Um, <laughs> we saw that you have a dream to play overseas one day. What, what, is the, what is the dream destination or some of the dream destinations? I honestly need to do more research. Um, I, d I went to Italy this past summer. And I fell in love with it. Um, so that would be awesome. The food would be impeccable every day. Um, but I definitely do want to do more research and figure out what would be like the best fit overall. Um, last, uh, last question from Rapid Fire for you. On the flip side, whenever the ball does stop bouncing, Tori Powell wants to do what? Wait, I'm confused. Maybe I, I tried to make that too eloquently worded. <laughs> I'm just gonna say when when you're not playing soccer anymore, what do you what what do you want to do? Okay. <laughs> sorry, I I tried I tried to make fetch happen. I did I did too much. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I just I didn't want to answer it incorrectly. Oh no, no problem. So what 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 is the what it uh what what it what is the field you're looking to go into? And what are you studying? That'll help too. So I'm studying communications with a minor in psychology. Um, I don't know exactly what I want to do. Cause I am, I have just been focused on the soccer for right now. Um, mm -hmm. but definitely something in the psychology realm. It just amazes me how the brain works and how people react to things and how like experiences shape your reality, all that stuff. Um, so something probably in that field, I don't know what specifically. Tori, it has been awesome. Congratulations on what has been already an awesome season. Uh, appreciate you jumping on with us. This is your time. This is called Sharky's Shoutouts. So you can shout out whoever you'd like. Let people know where they can follow you on social media. Uh, but this is, this is your time to take us out on the podcast. Okay. I want to give a shout out to everybody out there. Um, the entire Hokie Nation has been so supportive this whole season and we really appreciate it. It's what's been driving us to keep going. Um, my Instagram is Tori.Powell. Um, if you want to check that out um, and thank you for joining us. There you go. Tori Powell, Athlete of the Week. Keep it going. Fantastic. Thanks for joining us today, Tori.